Hey guys, it's Zoe. So today I'm going to be doing a very late April Owl Crate unboxing. Before I get into that though, the language from the last video was Icelandic. I think most of you got that one right and somehow my pronunciation was pretty okay. I, I don't know how, but yay. Somehow I managed to not totally butcher it. Although I kind of feel like people were just being nice to me because I really did butcher it, but in any event, thank you all for your feedback. The language for today was one that was really difficult to figure out how to say what I normally say because there aren't many lessons online about this which is really a damn shame because it's a beautiful language. Because of the lack of online lessons I don't really know if the sentence structure is correct because Google Translate told me something completely different from what the video I found is telling. We'll see how it goes. Today's language is Aloha Okapoaha Keila. Okapoaha Keila. Okapoaha Keila. I feel like that one's pretty close because there aren't really any extremely foreign sounds in there, at least to me, so I hope I said it right. I'm just not 100% confident that I stressed the words in the right spots, but as per usual, if any of you speak this language, please, please feel free to correct my pronunciation. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into the unboxing. Oh boy. relatively painless this time. Okay. So the first thing in this box is the, sp the spoiler card. The theme for April is shadows and secrets. I'm going to put this off to the side and use it as a lifeline between every item. All right, ooh. The next thing is dark chocolate and sea salt coffee from Bones Coffee Company. Personally, the dark chocolate and sea salt sounds awesome, but the coffee kind of ruins it for me. I hate coffee, but I know a lot of people who will enjoy this. The next item is a wild berry shadow hunter soap by Three Sisters Apothecary by Soap Cauldron. It smells like raspberries and kind of like blackberries. Let's open this. Oh my god, what is it with the Fort Knox packaging? Ooh, that's a cute little bar of soap. I like the swirls in it. I'm gonna smell like berries all day long now. I can just feel it already. Let's try and get this. Next is pencils. Ooh, warms my heart. The next item are a set of three Harry Potter pencils. Can you read that? It's the question of the day. Excuse me. No, not today. Not today, Satan. Okay. The red pencil on top says, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. The brownish pencil in the middle says, Mischief Managed. And the black one on the bottom says, Property of the Half-Blood Prince. What am I doing? Anyways, honestly, I couldn't even care what the item is. It just has Harry Potter quotes on it, so. I am happy. However, these will come in handy because I like to handwrite notes and ideas for the book that I'm writing. And what better way to get inspiration than to write with Harry Potter pencils. These pencils are from Jubilee Design Studio. The next item is the pin that matches the spoiler card. Next is a sticker by Jamila, what was her name? Uh, Jamila Mejio. I hope I'm saying that properly, but I'm probably not. The sticker says, everyone has darkness inside them, however hidden. And this is a quote from The Young Elite by Marie Lu. Next is something in a bag. I like when things come in bags because it's usually pillowcases or wall art or something like that. That was really, really productive, Zoe. You did great there. Awesome. This one is, ooh, it's a pillowcase because I needed more of those, yes. This pillowcase is by Stella's Bookish Art. I don't even know if that's in the frame. Is it, is it, hello? It says, God, I can't read that from the back. When you can't beat the odds, change the game. And that is a quote from Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo, one of my favorite books. You know what though? I really do need more pillowcases and more pillows because I'm planning on building, sorry, that's false. I'm planning on having Curtis build a little reading nook chair thing that I'm going to fill with pillows and have shelves for more books on the outside of it. I don't even know if that's really making any sense what I'm saying, but when it's done, I will show you guys and it will be fantastic. Moving along. Ooh, this is exciting. The next item is a, 
what's the word for that? An excerpt, that's the word, words are so hard. A little excerpt from Legendary by Stephanie Garber, the sequel to Caraval, which I loved, but I hated the main character. But the good news is her sister, who I really loved, is the main character of this one. I'm excited for this. Legendary comes out May 29th of this year. This is just the first 30 pages, pages, 30 pages. This is just the first 30 pages of Legendary, which is just enough to tease you into wanting the whole book. It's cruel and unusual punishment, but God, I love it. Three pages, 30 chapters. What else is on the back here? This, of course, is an Owl Crate exclusive excerpt, and there is a letter from Stephanie Garber, the author, right here, and it's signed right there. I'm so excited for this book. Jesus Christ. Sweet baby Jesus in his cradle. The next item is the book, and I literally just ordered this book. Of course I did. If I had opened this box and done the unboxing when I was supposed to, I wouldn't have ordered this book. However, it is an Owl Crate exclusive cover, and I love collecting different covers. Am I really that upset that I'm gonna have two copies? No, I'm really not. The book for this month is, oh boy. Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. Where is the book? I literally just had the book. I'll be back. Oh boy. Um, oh my god, what did I do? Please don't fall on me. Thank you. Okay. Let's open up this bag of goodness so I can show you properly. Um, so. In addition to the book, there is a letter from the author right there. Is that gonna focus? Beautiful. What in the hell is this? I don't know. Postcards. That makes sense. Oh boy. Why is everything taped so much? I need adult supervision. Oh boy. Okay. Oh Jesus. I ripped it. Of course. There is a set of four postcards. The first one is just the cover. The next one says secrets lie in every shadow. What does the next one say? The next one is that freaky rhyme that I love that says take a card and stake your soul. Survival is your only goal. Surrender to the vice within. Bet your life. Hope you win. If that's not ominous. I don't know what is. And the last one is a map. Can we focus for once? <sighs> Oh my god. Next one is a map of New Reigns, the City of Sin. Like I mentioned, it's an Owl Crate exclusive cover, and this is the original cover that I just bought. I don't know which one I like better. I like the red, but I like the dark, but I like the red, but I like the dark. I'm so torn right now. This one... I don't know what I'm saying. I just... I paused. No, I'm going along. Burp, stop. This one is signed by the author, as per usual. And is there anything else different? No. I don't think so. Oh, that's what else is different. Burp. Underneath. Excuse you! Why are you honking like that? <sighs> Heathens. Uncultured swine. Underneath the dust jacket of the original is. A lovely red and keeping in with the theme of the dark cover underneath the dust jacket of the owl crate exclusive edition it's black black and red black and red it doesn't really work it's black and yellow but I tried. It's not one of the things I'm good at. I quite literally just talked about what this book is about, so I will link that video. It's gonna pop up around here probably sometime soon, so you can see the description, because not really a fan of repeating myself. Also because I need to go meet my friend at her house so we can go to the mall. Priorities. But I'm really excited to get into this book and see if it really is as close to Six of Crows as one of my favorite authors, Cinda Williams Trima, blurbed on the front. If she's wrong, I'm going to be a little bit upset but I'm still gonna love her because her books are awesome. Underneath the book in the box, we have the Owl Crate little newsletter that comes with it every single time where there is an interview with the author, Amanda Foodie. There's a word search, recommended reads. If you... Come on, can we not? Recommended reads if you liked Ace of Shades prior prior to reading it, no. There is the interview with a vendor for Bones Coffee Company this time. The April photo challenge here. If you do take part in the April box photo challenge and hashtag your pictures with hashtag OC Shadows, OC Shadows, that's right, you have a chance to win prizes. I'm not really sure what the prizes are, but if you check out Owl Crate on their social media, you will find out more about these prizes. 
things. Also on this page here, if you tune in, when is it? On Twitter on May 12th at 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time. There is an owl babble with Amanda Foodie. The last thing here is the theme card for the May box, which is Fight Like a Girl. I like it already. On the back, if we can flip that, it says in the May box you'll receive an exclusive bath bomb from Whipped Up Wonderful. I've never used a bath bomb and I haven't taken a bath in a very long time, but this might just be a good excuse to go and take a bath. I mean, there's a lovely jacuzzi waiting at my grandparents' house for me all the time that I neglect horribly, but I think this would be a good time to use it. What else is in this May box? The May box is inspired by some of their lit their literary all time. Wow, okay. The May box is inspired by some of Owl Crate's all-time favorite literary heroines. Hermione better be in there, and it looks like she is. The book is going to be a brutal Viking-inspired tale featuring a main character who is a warrior in every sense of the word. It's a story about fighting for what you believe in, the bonds between family, and what loyalty truly means. As always, it will be an Owl Crate exclusive signed edition. The items in the box will be inspired by characters from Children of Blood and Bone, A Court of Wings and Ruin, Harry Potter, Six of Crows, and more. And as I mentioned, a bath bomb. What more could you want? I don't know if you can hear that, but the train is coming once again. It's moving at a normal speed for once. Wow. Cool. Can you hear that? They changed the bells on the train tracks, so when the arms are coming down, it's not your regular obnoxious screaming bells. It sounds like church bells now, and it really freaks me out because there's no church around here. And when random church bells go off, it's like Jesus is watching me. I don't like that. They've been working on these frick frackin' train tracks for almost a year now. Yeah, because we moved in here in July, and they showed up out there not long after we moved in. So this is fun. I don't know what they're doing, but they've been there for a very long time. And because of them, the train started going by at a snail's pace, so the train was more obnoxious than usual which is fantastic. After that little aside, that's it for the April box. If you are interested in purchasing a box of your own, you can use the code BOOKNERDZOE at your checkout for 10% off your first order. I, for one, am super excited about the May box, mostly because there's gonna be an item from Harry Potter in there, but also because of all of the other heroines that are going to be included. Honestly, it listed most of my favorite books in there. As per usual, to stay updated with my current reads and how I'm feeling about them, you can follow me on Instagram Twitter and Goodreads, all at your book nerd Zoe, which I will leave linked down below, as well as the coupon code for your Owl Crate purchase. I think that's all I really had to say for today. I hope you all have a wonderful day and get at least a little bit of uninterrupted reading time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!